will Nigerians make heaven? Or would Nigerians make heaven? Now, who told you there's heaven? Who told the person that told you? Who told the person that told the person that told you? Is he there? Was he there? Has he died before? Have you ever seen your uh, grandfather or great grandfather or great grandmother appear to you from the hotel room of heaven, the executive lodge? No. So this belief is one of the beliefs that is seem to be baseless or believeless because it's not factual. Yeah, that's it. So hi guys, my name is Sixtus Corey. They call me Rabbi Raboni, the unshockable shocker the untrackable tracker and this is bread of life now do you know that the bible or the scriptures or what we say or what we see to today or what we have today as the scriptures we are written by human beings many didn't even meet jesus christ let's say he existed we have four gospels matthew mark luke and john matthew mark and luke are called the synoptic gospels because they have similar narratives or similar stories they, which are quite different from the Gospel of John. The first book to be the Gospel to be written is the Gospel of Mark. The Gospel of Mark or Saint Mark was written at seventy A.D. Seventy A.D. or in seventy A.D. Seventy A.D. is seventy years after the birth of Jesus Christ. A.D. means Anno Domini, of the year of the Lord. B.C. means before Christ. So since he died, since he died about thirty to thirty three years. 70 AD was 40 years, about 40 years after he died. That was when Mark was written. Now, the Gospel of St. Matthew and Luke were written between 85 AD to 90 AD, which is about 90, 90 years after his death, after his birth, and about 60 years after his death. Now, the last Gospel, which is the Gospel of St. John, was written between 1980, uh, 90 AD to 110 AD, which is 110 years after his birth, and approximately 80 years after his death. So, this in Catholic Church, that's what we call the oral tradition, traditions that left um, from that that were transferred from parents to the offsprings. And we know that whatever I tell my child now, and my child tells his child, and my child. After some time, the real story will lose its meaning or real story will not be narrated as an eyewitness narrative. The story will change. So, let's say there's heaven. Now, do you qualify, according to the book you're carrying, according to the scriptures, do you qualify to marry that heaven? Ask yourself. Now, what's the criteria for making heaven? Matthew 25 from verse 31 to 46. When I come again in my glory, I will separate the sheep from the goats. I'll tell the sheep, come into my kingdom. The kingdom prepared my father's kingdom prepared for you before the world um begin um, before the beginning of the world. For when I was hungry, you gave me food. When I was thirsty, you gave me drink. When I was uh, uh, homeless, you gave me shelter. When I was naked, you gave me clothes. When I was sick and in prison, you visited me. And they will say, Lord, when did you see you naked and clothed you? He will say, insofar you do it to the list of my brethren. So that Bible you're carrying is all about love. Now, do you love? Do you show love? Mark 12, 31. Love your neighbor. Ask yourself. Do you love? The, ghost, the, um, the parable of the Good Samaritan explained how you should be your neighbor's keeper. You should be of help to those in need. Anybody around you in need. 1 John 4, 8 says, He who does not love does not know God, for God is love. 1 John 4, 20. Anyone who claims to love God but hates his brothers and sisters is a liar, for you cannot love God whom you've not seen when you hate your brother or sisters whom you've seen. James chapter 1, verse 27. True and pure religion, acceptable to God the Father, is to take care of widows and orphans in their afflictions and not be stained by the world. Therefore, God is seen in human beings. Some people say they have a counter with the Lord. No, I can, I, can, I can fearfully agree you have an encounter with the Lord if you help people in need, if you help sick people. If, when last did you, have you visited the uh, um, um, prisons? When last have you visited hospitals? As, since you believe in prayer, have you prayed for sick people? 
When last have you visited more an orphanage home? When last did you celebrate? You prefer celebrating your birthday in parties, in clubhouses, but you can't celebrate your birthday with orphanage kids. Then how can you make the heaven? It's not possible because you don't qualify according to the rules. Now, our hypocrisy will take us far away from heaven. Let's say there's heaven. Yeah, because you cannot say sex or fornication, according to you, is a sin, but you're having sex. You have condemned yourself already. Yeah, because you said this is not a sin, and you're still indulging in it, because you think God is your heavenly father, that will just forgive you forever. You... Now, who told you God forgive you? When you sing by Aramo Ezebube in church, who told you God forgive you? What evidence do you have? Did he tap you? Say, Baba, I've Baba, I forg forgiven you. Sister, I've forgiven you. No. Now, if we see God as nature, we understand that God is in nature and God is in human beings. That's why you hear humanity. The whites do it. Or you do it. Even the Arabs in core Muslim countries, Saudi Arabia, UAE, which is Dubai, you know, Qatar, they do it. They look out for everyone. That's why you don't see any hungry people there, hungry person there. When George Floyd was murdered by their devil policeman, Derek, all Americans of all races, Chinese, Arabs, Europeans, all Americans came out to, to pro, they don't call virus, to protest the gruesome murder of that man. They see God in human beings. They see, Americans see God in even living things. That is why you cannot cut a tree anyhow. That tree has life. The tree was planted for a purpose. You cannot kill, kill an animal. You cannot shoot the bed anywhere. If someone misplaces, if 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 someone go, uh, walks around uh, around the street and sees a stray dog, the person takes the dog to his house and takes care of the dog until its owner comes. They see God even in animals. They see God in nature. If they want to fly an airplane, they measure the height, they measure the the distance, they measure everything. They know they know how they're gonna. Um, they will produce an aeroplane that will fly and break all those gravitational forces and all forces and, you know, land people safely to their destinations. They see God as nature. If they want to um, build um, so a stadium or whatever on, on the sea, they build, they make pillars available, strong pillars that will hold that edifice. Our forefathers saw God as nature. That is why they worked hard, harder than we are working now. Those days, a man of 18 years is already rich. Has yam bands everywhere. They are not even thieves. People kept their yam bands open. That's why a young man can marry at 18, marry second wife at 25, marry third wife at 30 or 35, marry fourth one at 40. And he could be able to take care of them because they are rich. They believe in work. Unlike now, we believe in miracle money. If we stop seeing God as a human being that will give up, that will spoon feed us and start seeing him as nature, we'll go out to work. You behave well if you want your boyfriend to marry you. You pray to God to give you a husband when the guy you are dating, you are making life miserable on earth for him. Understand? So, we need to see God as nature. As simple as that. That is exactly what the whites do. Then, keeping our, putting ourselves in the bondage of heaven and hell. Now, the white or evil people now believe that the, their life ends on earth. That is why they make life comfortable for themselves here. But we here, we've decided to suffer and die so that we can go to heaven. Even if heaven exists, we Nigerians don't qualify to make heaven. Africans in general. Yeah, because we don't look out for each other. If we had looked out for each other, or if we look out, if we had been looking out for each other, we will not be poor. Love your neighbor as yourself. A politician embezzles public funds to take his children abroad, to train his children in Ivy League schools. A man of God scams the people and tells them to bring money so that God will bless them so that he will be able to raise his kids properly in, all over, in good universities all over the world. So that is not loving your neighbor as yourself. So guys, if heaven exists, we don't qualify. No one, because we don't look out for each other. People are happening, people are, people are dying and nobody's talking. But for me, that heaven doesn't exist. Let's make our life here comfortable for us. Let's ask our leaders for the dividends of democracy. Men of God, rally your people, gather your people, and protest. You mustn't do it physically. You can also do it online. 
It's not a crime to ask your leaders for the dividends of democracy. Don't leave judgment for God and expect God to be your INEC chairman. God to remove the president and put on that your, your choice. No. So guys, let's understand this. If heaven exists, Nigerians will not make it heaven. But at the same time, I don't think heaven exists because it's not factual. It can't be quantified. It can't be seen. It can't be verified. If it, it is a spiritual place, why use physical things to describe a spiritual place? If it's a physical place, a building cannot hang up in the sky. Jeff, Be Jeff Bezos could have seen it when he went up to the sky. So guys, let's start seeing God as nature. If we see God as nature, we'll put the work, we'll work. We'll study for exams, we'll not pray for exams. We'll, we'll, we'll ask our leaders to give us good roads so that there will be no accidents. Not when a trailer falls on somebody's head, we'll say, devil has pushed it. Devil cannot push any trailer. So guys, this is the explanation for this topic. Thank you and God bless you. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, Six Tools Bread of Life. And subscribe to my Instagram channel, Six Tools, also Six Tools Bread of Life. Drop your comments, drop your con contribution, and remain blessed. Bye-bye.